morning everybody we're in Fargo North Dakota we got our load of trusses behind us we're a little bit wide so I had to wait for the Sun to join us so that I could legally run down the road and not be in violation of my permits so now that the Sun's up we gotta go an hour and a half east into Minnesota to a town near a town called Park Rapids Minnesota I was a little bit up there looks like we're gonna be delivering it to like cottage country up there uh, by the looks of it on Google Maps, but we'll find out when we get there. According to my Trucker Path app, the scale in Moorhead here, leaving Fargo, is closed. The last update was an hour ago, though, so we'll see if they've dragged themselves into work yet or not. I got nothing to hide, really, but I'd rather not waste any time there while they inspect my load and how legal it is. We'll find out when we go past there. Let's get going. I've already done my pre-trip. I've got a muffin here for breakfast. I've got my coffee. I'm ready to roll. It's a beautiful day to be a truck driver. Look at the sun coming up over there. <clears throat> Oversized load pulling behind me. US interstate highways. It's gonna be a good day. I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit of a shorter day. I just wanna quickly unload this and rush back home. I've got the bypass here for the scale so I don't have to pull in and it's not even open anyway so no scale slowing us down today <clears throat> like I said I got nothing to hide from them but I was just a little concerned because I have an oversized load very likely what they'd want to do is they want to pull me in check out my permits check out my securement check out all my signage and flags and stuff you know just because it's an abnormal load and I really didn't want to waste my time doing all of that today. I got to get to my customer. They're going to be waiting for me at the job site. And then uh, I got to get home. This is Saturday when I'm filming this now. So I was eating into my weekend a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay because I've been asking for these overnights. <laughs> Highway driving on a Saturday, it's not really weekend work. It's sort of like weekend relaxation. I'm fine with it. Really gotta wash this windshield, yikes. Well, you can, uh, yikes. There's the scale. Huh. Closed. A closed scale is the best kind of scale. They're my favorites, actually. US Highway 10, we're in Minnesota. Obviously, because we went across, the, went past the scale there. Uh, but we have to take US 10 up to, uh, US 59, I explained the route yesterday, right? And then to US 34, and then we take US 18 up to where uh, the job site is. I want to show you this job site that I delivered to. It's beautiful. This is as Minnesota as it gets. Are you ready? 
I already unloaded it here. And I didn't film it while it was unloading. I was kind of disappointed in myself, but I had the, uh, the contractor here with me and I just wanted to focus on getting it off without uh, anything going wrong. So we tilted the trailer back and we rolled it all off. It's sitting right over here. Look at this beautiful property, eh? These are all cottages on the lake in Minnesota here. Neighbors are pretty close. So you got one neighbor there. They're building this here. That's what I delivered for. And you got one neighbor here. Beautiful. Put all this down here. It came off perfect without a hitch. No problems at all. So it goes back around here and you see the big window right there that's gonna be their view it's pretty cool eh? days like this I love my job the most when else would I get to see something so beautiful look at you got steps going down there probably to like a little pier or something a little do boat dock maybe I'm not gonna wander around too much I just wanted to check on my load here one last time before I left this is exactly where he wanted it Walking access through here. He can get around here with his skid steer. Went off absolutely perfect. It was a little bit sketchy getting in here. It's a very narrow driveway. But uh, he helped me in. He guided me in. It's a great guy. Great Minnesotan guy. This is what I picture when I think of the word Minnesota. <laughs> And the weather's pretty nice here too. It's warmer than back home. Less snow too. Another job. Another delivery. Another happy customer. Someone's getting a new lake home. I'm glad I could be a part of it. There's one, one more thing we have to do. One more thing. Just check to make sure my pins are locked in on the trailer. So I had to slide these axles forward, right? So that the trailer could tilt up. The axles I slid to about the center of the trailer here by the number there. And that way the trailer could rest down on the ground. And that helps to roll off. But I moved these back now to where they should be. Just want to double check and visually verify that these pins are locked in. One, two on this side. We'll just double check the other side real quick. One, two, everything's locked in. Good. Everything is as it should be, except for this. Uh, why is this ABS light on? Hmm, it's probably just uh, my plug-in. If you ever have that light on, this is one thing you can do to just see if it'll work. Unplug your lights and plug them back in, okay? I'm just gonna unplug the system here. Hold on a sec. It's hard to do with just one hand. Okay, unplug it. Plug it back in. Okay, usually uh, if it's just a simple issue like that, lights are just a little confused it should be off now yep that fixed it I don't know why it does that sometimes there's probably a, a good answer for you that's the ABS light it's probably a good answer as to why that happens but I'm not a mechanic I'm a truck driver <laughs> all I know is how to fix the issues I don't know what causes them sometimes but uh, yeah, it's the first thing you try. If your ABS light's on, it shouldn't be on. So that says there's a problem with the ABS system of the trailer. Unplug the trailer lights, plug them back in, see if that helps. If that doesn't work, it might be a bigger issue. Then you need to talk to the shop and you need someone who knows what they're doing. Okay, we're set and ready. I should have enough room to get out of here. I'm gonna have to be careful of these trees here. I'm gonna head this way. It's a very narrow cottage road, eh? I had to blindside it in here too. 
but like I said, the guy here who was helping me, the contractor, was a great guy. If we lived closer, I'd definitely be friends with him and hang out with him. He's a really good guy. He uh, helped me back in, guided me in perfect. Didn't take long at all. Okay, now we buckle ourselves back in so we don't fall out, and then we can go home. All right. <clears throat> Okay, gonna be a little tight getting my trailer around this corner here. Nobody's coming. I don't wanna fall into the ditch there. I don't wanna put my steer tire in there. Oh, no problem. No problem. Look at that. Oh, I don't know what I was worried about. The first truck stop we see, we're gonna stop. We're gonna clean these mirrors and windows. Oh, that's nice warm air. It's a little chilly, but nothing compared to uh, <laughs> where to Manitoba. Let's put this there. There we go. What a beautiful place, you know? What a beautiful place. It reminds me a lot of cottage country in Manitoba. I was talking with the guy here too. It's, it's pretty much exactly like Manitoba. Exactly the same, just more people here. I'm literally, I literally, if I could fly straight home from here, I'd, it's a five hour shot straight north of here. It's the same region. Just gotta be careful driving through here because clearly trucks this big don't come through here that often. Everybody waves. Friendly Minnesota. Look, look at these houses in here, eh? Beautiful. These are just summer homes. Like, they're just cottages. This isn't actually where the people live. Some of them do, but some of them, they just come here on like their days off. There's a little sign over there that said, God bless America. Indeed, I think he has around here. Oh, I want to turn right here. You can go ahead, buddy. You can go ahead. You can go ahead. I know, I probably confused you a little bit there, but I've got to go out this way. I'll let him go in front of me, because I'm going to be slower. Oh, he's turning right there anyway. Okay. All good then. So I guess I could have gone. Oh, well. So yeah, that was my Saturday. What are you up to on your Saturday? I'm having fun. Oh, and we got a red. Okay, we're in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Usually this is as far south as I go. Well. Lately, anyways, it was a nice treat to be able to go a little further down to uh, Park Rapids, right in the Detroit Lakes area there. So I'm taking Highway 59 all the way back home to Canada, which takes me right through Thief River here. I don't usually go through this part of town when I come to pick up our loads here. I usually just barely touch into the west side of town and then head back up. I didn't realize how big Thief River actually was. And the sign coming into town says that it was founded in 1896, which means it's actually a newer town than Steinbeck, where I'm from. Steinbeck was founded around 1874. But this is, uh, well, 
It looks bigger than Steinbeck, but it's probably about the same size. Uh, I don't know, Steinbeck might be bigger. It's hard to tell. I'd have to see this town sort of spend some time here. It looks about the same size. Goes to show how small our population is in Manitoba. <laughs> Where I'm from, that's the third largest city in our province. And here, Thief River Falls, which seems like a similar size, is definitely nowhere near the top, I think probably 100 towns of Minnesota. So many people here. In the States, I mean. So many people. They have 10 times our population. We have 38 million, they have about, what, 340? It's a little less than 10 times. So for every one Canadian, there's close to 10 Americans. And then if you want to bring China into this, I mean, China's got 1.4 billion people. So they have the population of America plus 1 billion people. Same thing with India. So I'm, I feel like there's a ton of people in the United States, especially when you go to like New England and New York and that area. But man, just imagine all of these people plus one billion. I see they've gotten really friendly with the roundabouts in Minnesota. I'll keep my comments to myself. <laughs> I'm sorry you gotta stare at my crooked wiper there. I don't know why it's like that. We're just rolling through St. Pierre, Jolie, or just St. Pierre for everyone else. We're back in Canada, across through from Lancaster, Minnesota to Tolstoy, Manitoba. I have this empty roller trailer behind me. I've got to bring it into Winnipeg on Monday morning, but for now, we're just going to bring it to our yard and then head home. St. Pierre is probably about... I don't know, 20 minutes from our yard. So we're almost there. We're back at the yard. Now, of course, everything's packed because it's the weekend, but I found two spots here in the back near the tire shop. It's convenient because this is kind of the best spot for me. My truck is on the other side of that tire shop there, so in the morning I can swing around here and quickly grab it. I was going to just throw it right in here. But I see there's also a spot over there. I think I'm going to throw it in here. That was my first choice. I'm going to stick with my first choice. I'll drop it there. Then on Monday morning, first thing, bright and early, well, before the sun even comes up, I'm going to take my Peterbilt over here, hook up to it, and uh, bring it into Winnipeg where it needs to be. Don't worry, girl. I still love you. I'll be here for you Monday morning, all right? You keep, you, you be a good girl. You don't get in any trouble with your friends here, okay? All right? You guys keep her in line, Mr. Beast. I gotta get my stuff into the pickup now. This is where I found a plug-in. So this is where I parked the unit. 
quickly move my stuff into here and then head home. Children, Chevy! Show the up! Dad, where did you go? Dad! You smell like semi trucks in diesel fuel. I'm so mad at you. <laughs> oh, Chevy, did you miss me? Where did you go? I can't believe you took another trip without me. That's two in a row. I am taking my dog and I'm going out here. Dad! Dad! Oh, ow! Oh, oh! Dad! Dad, I love you! I love you! Dad! Where'd you go? You were gone for a long time! Did you get to sleep on the bed last night? Did you keep my spot warm? Yes, he was up there. I see you've returned. Hello. I knew we wouldn't have gotten rid of you. Did you just like use him to... Hey! Don't step on the little guy. Hi, Wiener. I appreciate you acting like you missed me. Makes me feel special. Yes, I kind of like you. Don't tell anyone! Don't tell anyone, okay? Do not put this on YouTube! I'm not promising anything, man. Did you miss me? You never greet me like this. Never. What is this? You get it? Are you itchy? Dude's got a little scratch. I'm good. Frank? Did you you smell like America. You, you go America without me? I can't believe this guy. Hi, Wiener. You actually miss me when I'm gone for a little longer than usual, eh? Isn't that something? Don't worry. This will be our little secret. Be honest with me. I can smell it. I can What is that? What, what is that? Is that Minnesota that I taste? You went to Minnesota without me? I'm so offended. Why wouldn't you take me? Why wouldn't you take me to see my pit? And North Dakota. Both of them? That is just rude. Why wouldn't you take me to see my people? I'm not gonna forget this. You smell like pizza. I don't wanna get touch of you just said you wanted to end the vlog. I did. I'm gonna go nervous. I'm gonna, okay, okay, uh, um, okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I know I'm scared. Chevy, why are you scared to talk to them? I'm not. Well, why don't you say goodbye? Okay. Can you sit? Sit when you say, show me you're a good boy. I'm a very good boy. Mom kills me every day. I know. Okay. Is it on? I'm filming this whole time. Oh! Uh, okay, guys. I'm glad my dad's back home. Glad you brought him back to me. Very happy. Thank you. Uh, Mom's gonna come in that door very soon. I'm very excited. And both mom and dad will be home again. She's gonna come right in there. Right there, that's where mom's gonna come. I'm excited. I hope you guys have a good day. Anything else? Come back tomorrow? Yeah. Let's make another vlog tomorrow. Why don't we make a... You wanna make a... You wanna make a dog vlog? Well, maybe. You think mom would wanna do it? What do you think? Diesel, what do you think? I'm just glad you're home, man. I'm a little upset you didn't take me again, don't worry about it. I'll forgive you because you're my dad. And I'm glad you're home now. We're gonna be a pack again. The whole pack. The pack is the full pack again. The full pack. It was fun. It was fun and a nice treat. Monday, I'm back in the city again. I have a load and two lawn I gotta go pick up. And I also gotta bring that roller trailer back where it belongs. Uh, into the city first thing in the morning. So we'll have a little bit of a busy morning rushing around and we'll see what the day brings. Life's exciting. I'll see you tomorrow.